and welcome back to the wonderful adventures of Sparkles. Um, I was just thinking, if any of you, if this ever gets to the point, which I doubt it will, where people actually copy my name, the first test you can see of whether or not it's me is if the name is serious or not. If it's a serious name, then most likely it's not me. I name my characters things like Sparkles and Chop Chop the Champ and Warden of Renown. I don't name them serious things like Dalmere or some other name that sounds like it, it could actually be used by an actual person out there somewhere. So if it sounds realistic, it's most likely not me. Falkelian, I think, is the only realistic name I've made on a character that I've done much with. Sometimes I use it for just random fake characters I'm going to do it. Oh, what's that? It says I need something down here on the map, right? It's clear the roads is defeat bears oh and where'd that bear go there he go um and so we blow him to bits and i see that's what it wanted me to get the thickets i didn't even see those from up there so when you blow him up and then you clear these away and having some witchy issues um apparently you just pick out its roots and it explodes into a shower of mud because that makes sense. Um, well, that's odd. The graphics are slightly over the top. I doubt that this dwarf is doing enough to warrant this big splat of mud. And look, I'm not even dirty. The guy's just sitting there and he's completely unaffected. Stands right in the middle and he looks just the same as he was before he touched it. So, yep, sometimes the graphics annoy me, but most of- what? Okay. Click. There. Um, once we're done with that, we need to find Vithil, deliver the dented arm. That's what we had to do all the way back up. You know, I'm going to save that for a little while. I'm not really very patient today, so I'm going to go off and most likely do that tomorrow. Um, although I'm not sure. It says there's downtime tomorrow. That was so stupid. I just got my horse in the middle of a river. Um, and I'm surprised when he has to jump off. So, onwards to defeating more bears. Doesn't like that bears up here. Is that a bear? Nope. I can do lynxes, I guess. Um, clear the roads is defeat bears up here, I see. And I think lynxes are all over the place. Yep. So I'll just kill those and then come back and defeat a whole bunch. And do I have any for... I doubt it for goblins yet. So let's just kill the wild animals. Um... Oh, um, as a side note, this place is where you get all your Thorns Gate reputation, so just FYI if you didn't know that, um, Vithil is up here somewhere, and so I'm gonna get off for now. You can't hit the black-footed foxes. You can't hit any poor little defenseless wild animals, you can only hit the ones that hit back. And here he is. See, I knew it, I passed him on the way there. Well and, met. Uh, I have no idea. So I think this guy wants you to go... What? That's not what I wanted. Um, it says quest guide focus. That goes all the way back down there. We don't want that. Um, so let's see. Um, once I actually figure out where, where I'm supposed to be going, I'll jump back to the video. And until then, a little bit of... There he is. Yay. Um, I love how I spend five minutes talking about something, hoping that it'll happen, and then when I decide it's not going to happen, it's right in front of me. Next time I'm just going to say, oh, and this is definitely not going to happen. That will speed things up tremendously, I believe. And, oh, there's a guy down here. There was a guy down, there he is. Saw it. There was the little sneaky thingy. The stripe that goes above your head and tells you that somebody is being sneaky. So that's why I call it the sneaky thingy. And we'll fast forward through a whole bunch and of And now that we have all the links that we need, we just need to go off and get two more bears. And then we have a whole bunch we can turn in. And then depending on how much time of the video I've used up by then, which will be increased by the fact I keep breaking my legs. Um, my dwarf isn't all that smart. That's fine with me. Um, none of my characters are all that smart, so he's not special. Um, go down over here and... Where was the other bears? I figured they must have respawned by now. They're over here somewhere. Found a whole bunch of links over here, so when you're playing through, this is a good place to go. 
see, that's what I'm talking about. That's the sort of stupidity you get to watch me do. I just sit there on the map going, well, why is my guy moving? It's because I'm stuck on a pillar. Um, it's, I think that it's a good thing I'm not a driver. I don't drive at all. And if I did, the world would be a much scarier place. In fact, if you ever see a person waving at you, happily on a car right next to you, then run, jump out the door, dive for the sidewalk, and you may just survive. Um, let's see. Where are, <laughs> um, where's the bear thingies? I found them, I found them the first time, and I can't find them again, that's the way I work. Um, should have gotten all of the ones I needed the first time through and not ignored them for the couple lengths over there, because now I'm not going to be able to find them again, am I? Um, yeah. Where, are they over here? I'm sure that they're probably over here. This is an area I haven't gone into yet. See, knew it. And prepare to be annihilated. Like, the Runekeeper gets up to the high attack moves really quickly and then doesn't stop until he's either out of high attack moves to use, or he's blown the enemy into tiny little pieces. So, the problem is with them on cooldown, he's not all that strong. But that doesn't matter, because I can just spam my two weak ones and kill them. So now we have four to turn in, and that will level us up. So, happy to get to nine in this episode, and get as far as I'd planned to last episode. And, that'll be good. Wow. Why are there all these foxes? That's fox convention, apparently. Um, so... I barely need to fast forward at all, but just to cram the extra little bit in, I'll fast You know, just in talking, oh, the benefit I, I would have gone from fast forwarding completely, so probably not the best way to use that. Um, so. Talk to Greetings. him. That's good. That's really good. Um. Me. Makes me way better than I was before. Now defeat the birdies, the Hendravel. And then herding cats. Greetings, traveler. Better legs. Better leg armor. My legs are fine. Um. What is the meaning rations of this? are never going to be used. Collect goblin thingies. I'm sure I'll figure out what that is I'm in a bit. The and then might. Vitality. Will you hear my troubled tale? Then talk to Otkull. So onwards to the let's see. Defender of Eridwin. Ally of Eridwin. So I already got one of those quests done for the doing quests, deeds for doing quests, okay. Um, and free turbine points. It's like 10 cents in real life, but it's still free. So I think I'm going to go after the goblin fetish, and that will be the end of this episode. Me turning that one in. The next episode will go kill birdies and talk to somebody in Gondaman, maybe ne next episode. And that's the place you get into Sarnor. Um, probably gonna ride into an enemy, so I'm gonna get off that horse before I make a seriously stupid mistake. Like that. I don't even need to be on a horse to do that. That's amazing. Um, I'm talented. I'm probably gonna run into that guy too. So the goblin fetish is... You'd only be a business to visit those to authentic goblin fetish. So I... We just have to kill him. Um, fine with me, I guess. Um, let's see, if it, this guy doesn't give it, most likely there's a guy inside we need. Um, so let's head up and into there. Although, looks like, maybe you just need to be an Orodos. No, you don't, you need to be out. Maybe it's that camp over there. Um, Wild Blue Crag, Blue Crag, Hurler, Piercer, not Pier, it's a something or other. And then over here we have a... Blue Crag, Wild Blue Crag, and Piercer. Let's go just do this one. And make you slow, make you on fire, and then blow you to Kingdom Come. Um, do that, and that, and that. And it does that. I like so. it, they're defenseless as you blow them into tiny pieces. And then fiery ridicule, self heal, and sparks of doom. And that's pretty much the way the Runekeeper plays for the 
You really had to do that at the end of the battle, didn't you? Freeze me in place and annoy me. Yep. And no goblin fetish. I don't get it. Where's the... Maybe it's the fire over there? I doubt it. I think it's up here and the map is just being annoying. Um. So let's try up here in just a sec. Oh, and Hendervale. So I'm gonna fast forward through a whole bunch of kills and, and wow, get that guy is big for level 8. But I think I'm gonna defeat him just by running away as I spam my electric moves. Does this give me the goblin fetish? It doesn't. And what in the world does if the super boss that has my health level won't give me it? Why? So, apparently, up here, maybe, I that there were goblins south of his camp. His camp was over here. And so you'd only be convinced of Biffel's tale and that you could bring lava Okay, so let's fast forward. Apparently I was just unlucky because this random guy up here just dropped it, so. Okay. Wasted the majority of my time over this, but. And now I'm just gonna run and taunt them all. <laughs> and self heals. So now I can go. And there's no way in the world you're gonna kill me now that I've got my healing going, right? There's no way, right? Serious wound. It's a serious wound and it can't keep up with my healing. Because my dwarf is pro. And then now we can fast forward. What, what I did to make them all mad. Or, I curse you, right click, direction change thing. I th don't think the fact that I killed zillions of them plays into the fact that they're angry at me. I doubt that's the case. And there's what we And then do. here we are. This is unthinkable. So then my now we defeat goblins. And that's a small fellowship one, the Blue Crag Chieftain. You could raid them at their camp, but those ruins to defeat their chieftain. I wouldn't have to ask for help from elsewhere. No, sure. Probably get one of my level 75, 85 people to help me with that. Although, I don't know if they'd come down for something so tiny, but... Anyway, this was the latest adventure of Sparkles, in which he messes up everything including the stuff that he thought was so easy that nobody could mess it up. I'm talented, I can mess that stuff up too. Um, so, now that we are, we're, when we get to Gundaman, we're going to get some new skills because of the skill trainer. And, wow, I got halfway through the next level, that's nice. And so, this is where we leave off. Leave off. We're still, I would say, about halfway through Nogalon, the next episode. We could probably finish all of this up, and we're going to head into Gundam, and we've already got the quest to go there. We've just got stuff up here we're going to finish out. Probably going to do this one off camera, because all it is is running all the way up and then all the way back with armor. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you liked this video, found it informative, and ooh, staircase. Um, probably do this while... What's the guard doing up there? There's nothing... And he isn't, he's a, oh, he's an archer. I was gonna say, what's a melee guy doing up there? That's like the most stupid position for a swordsman ever. I, even the dwarves. I've seen some dwarves that are pretty stupid, but that one would take the cake. And right as I'm telling you about how stupid some dwarves are, I'm a dwarf and I'm about to walk off the biggest cliff you could probably find anywhere in this little area. And yay, so I like this little perch way better than being down there. So if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and all of your comments are appreciated, whether you just want to weigh in about something you liked in the video, suggest a new video, or just talk about anything Lotro related. If any of you guys are on Latin, I'd love to hear from you, and please tell me the name of your character so I can friend you and talk to you and get more detailed feedback about the channel and just be generally happy. Um, whenever I run into somebody who's seen the channel, it is w really, really fun. Um, so, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and come back for the next episode of the Rekeeper Walkthrough.